Olivier, Cédric, Bach, and I'm originally from uh, Cameroon in Africa, Central Africa, and uh, I'm currently a first officer with United Airlines, uh, based in San Francisco, California. Coming from Cameroon, my parents always stress about education. Five years ago, I decided that after spending a good 20 years plus in the U.S., that it was time for me to come back and help my brothers and sisters in Africa. So, I mean, uh, in, in terms of resources, for sure, I, I, I do realize that is zero to none. And I got to do my part. And I will do my part until I'm not part of this world anymore. But I think that it's time that we all realize that we have several channels to lift someone else up. For those, who didn't know how to do it, I would strongly invite them, I mean, to join what I call our cause, I mean, to join the movement. If they hear something or they need to know more about something, we are happy just to assist, to help them. And it does not have to be within, you know, the pilot thing. You within the aerospace, you are engineer in aerospace, you are computer science in the aerospace, you are doctor in aerospace, you are lawyer in aerospace, or in aviation, in any sector of activity, maintenance. Just come forward. Let's go ahead and speak to our brother and sister. I mean, they need our help, they need our assistance. And as a human being, I think that's the basic. Anybody can do that. We gotta help each other. If you're successful, you gotta pick up someone who's struggling. Because it's no miracle, it's not a rocket science. It seems to be a rocket science, but it's not. I'm from West Africa, Liberia. I'm a pilot of United Airlines, based in San Francisco as a first officer. Five years ago, Jean and myself came up with the idea of going back to the continent of Africa to give back. So every year, we select one country in Africa. This year, we selected Ghana, and it also happened that United is relaunching their route into Ghana. Ghana holds a very special place in my heart. Today, I'm visiting the refugee camp here in Ghana, in the central region. I was a refugee on this camp at a very young age. I remember my mother waking up early in the morning to stand in line for hours just to get clean drinking water. 
I'm very fortunate. To be honest, I left this camp. I have friends and cousins who have dreams, but they cannot realize those dreams. So looking at where I'm at today, flying for United Airlines, a major US airline in the world, statistically speaking, I should not be here. This journey has been fascinating and unpredictable at times, but most importantly, it keeps me humble. Being on this camp today is a reminder of where I come from, of who I am. This is a part of my story that you don't see. This is a part of me that you don't know about. So for me, it is imperative that I come back home and give back. It is important that I share my story with young men and women through school visits, telling them that if I can do this, they too can. But you have to be determined. You have to be motivated. You have to be hardworking and relentless in your quest. You have to believe in yourself. Even though the odds are stacked up against you, you cannot allow your personal circumstances to limit you. Thank you.